Well, firstly, I'm delighted to sit here today at the start of my second year as sporting director here. Uh, and I'm really pleased to tell our shareholders that over the last year we feel as a club that we've made fantastic progress. Uh, obviously, the fans and the shareholders alike uh, will be enjoying what they're seeing on the pitch at this moment in time. Uh, but between myself and Stephen, we are also really interested in continuing to develop this club off the pitch. Uh, I've used the phrase a lot about developing a one-club ethos. We wanted to join up all aspects of this club uh, and we can now see that across all of the pillars that support football development, whether it may be our scouting and recruitment, our performance preparation, our medical, our analysis, our, the emergence of our girls and women's team uh, into the club. We now feel like we're building a really strong Rangers here. Uh, there is a long way to go. Uh, the, the build will continue. We've got a high ceiling that we continue to reach towards, but I'm delighted that we feel in a significantly stronger place today than we did when we addressed the last shareholders meeting. We, we see scouting and recruitment as, a, as an important part of our, our vision. We obviously recognise the need for a club of our size to be strong in player trading. Uh, one of the things we identified really early was to start to build a, a thorough modern scouting and recruitment department. Uh, I've gone on record numerous times now um, to talk about us being much more connected to the market and have a strong European presence. I'm delighted that across the last year we've recruited some really high level scouting and recruitment personnel to join our team here and join an already existing uh, group of strong staff. But I now feel that we're much more connected to the market in Europe, that we're able to capitalise on opportun opportunities when they come our way and the information that is coming to us both from our scouts, from our data and our technical team is, is significantly stronger than it was. And I, again, we've got a lot more work to do, but I'm, uh, I'm really happy with where we are today. I think uh, shareholders and fans again will be will be really pleased to see that uh, as well as I've mentioned already, uh, on the pitch is, is in a strong place at this moment in time under Stephen's guidance. Off the pitch we're working together to make this club as strong as we possibly can with our people and our personnel, our systems and our processes, uh, our ways of thinking, but also we have continued to push our facility development, uh, both at Auchenhowie at the training centre and here at Ibrox. We, we wanted to make the, the dressing room much more modern, whilst also uh, preserving the history uh, of Rangers here at Ibrox, and we've managed to do that. The new tunnel area here, new pitches at Auchenhowie, uh, and there's, there's stuff going on all the time there to really push this club forward and make sure that the environment that we're working in every day and the environment here at Ibrox uh, is befitting of a club the size of Rangers. Stephen and I sat down um, right at the beginning of the coronavirus. Uh, we spent a lot of time when there was no football going on to assess the squad that was here and to plan what this season looks like. Uh, we are thankful to our shareholders, the board and the investors for backing us in the most difficult of markets uh, to achieve what we wanted to achieve. Uh, a lot of players left, of course, as well, whether they were out of contract or ones that we decided to move on. And we feel that the players that have come in have enhanced the group, um, both in terms of their, their character and their, and their abilities on the pitch. And we're really, really happy with the squad that we sit here with today. But again, my caveat always is that we never stop here and we keep pushing uh, to see where we can take this here. But from a scouting and recruitment perspective and from a squad building perspective, we are really happy with where we sit today, whilst acknowledging that there's still a long distance to go. Our academy continues to push, uh, it continues to make a lot of strides. We have acknowledged since I came here that we wanted to make some changes in our structure there, which we announced some months ago. Uh, we'll make further changes as we move forward in order that the academy is again modern, fit for purpose under Craig's leadership, uh, and we have to see output from that. Um, Stephen has gone on record a number of times that if young players are good enough, they'll get the chance here. Uh, not only are a number of young players training with our first team every day now, but we've also saw the emergence of young Nathan Patterson, and that's what the academy's got to do. It's got to produce players that are ready to play for Rangers, uh, and we are pleased that that journey has started again, um, and uh, and will continue in the future for sure. I began um, this address by talking about the one club ethos that we wanted to build here, and our girls and women's team absolutely need to sit aligned and part of that, and I'm pleased that they do today, and again, we've got some uh, some strong ambitions and targets for them to reach in the future. Um, they've started the Super League season well um, under under Malky, Kevin and Amy. It looks a really strong group for us now, uh, both on and off the pitch. So thanks to our shareholders and investors again for their continued support as we evolve this club uh, and push it forward to reach the heights that everybody wants us to get to. Again, I think our journey feels really, really strong, but we know that a club of this size, we will never stop pushing uh, to return Rangers to where we, where we need to get to. Thanks again for your support.